Hello, my name is Dr. Ingrid Avendele, and I'm a staff scientist in R&D with molecular biology at Thermo Fisher Scientific. We are here to introduce an application note titled Optimized Real-Time and Endpoint RT LAM for SARS-CoV-2 using Thermo Fisher Scientific BSM DNA polymerase and in vitro gene superscript 4 reverse transcriptase. LAMP or loop-mediated isothermal amplification is a technique used to amplify DNA under isothermal conditions. LAMP experiments require 4 to 6 primers, which are specifically designed according to the target RNA or DNA sequence. Amplification is initiated by strand invasion of an inner primer and subsequent synthesis of an inner sequence by a strand displacing DNA polymerase. Annealing of an outer primer displaces the first product and facilitates formation of a cell hybridizing loop at the end. The process is repeated on the other end, resulting in formation of a dumbbell structure. This dumbbell structure contains multiple sites for amplification initiation and serves as a seed for exponential lamp amplification, which generates stem loop DNA of different lengths with cauliflower-like structures. In this study, we use BSM DNA polymerase, which is similar in performance to the more broadly used BST DNA polymerase. To create cDNA from the SARS-CoV-2 RNA template, superscript 4 reverse transcriptase was selected for its superior performance. We evaluated the SARS-CoV-2 rt protocol using real-time and endpoint visualization for viral RNA detection. A synthetic truncated SARS-CoV-2 RNA fragment from the spike region was used along with published LAM primers and Cyto9 staining to validate real-time detection using Quant Studio 7 Flex real-time PCR system. We titrate the target RNA down to 1000 copies per reaction. This figure illustrates that the target was amplified to near completion within 25 to 30 minutes, depending on copy number input. The no template control remained negative for longer than the 60 minute reaction time. To further validate the optimization pivotal point for the RTLAM protocol, we tested several superscript 4 reverse transcriptase concentrations, reducing the final concentration from 2 units per microliter to 0.2 units per microliter, or 5 units per reaction, had little effect on detection time. Lowering the concentration of reverse transcriptase decreases the risk of detecting a nonspecific amplification signal. Along with real-time detection, we demonstrated endpoint RTLAM product visualization using CyberGreen 1 nucleic acid stain. The induced color change can be evaluated by the naked eye. The orange color indicates no amplification. The bright green color indicates the presence of the RTLAM product. Alternatively, endpoint RT-LAM products can be analyzed using the Invitrogen E-Gel Power Snap Electrophoresis System. Results show the ladder-like profile of RT-LAM amplicons. In conclusion, RT-LAM using VSM DNA polymerase and superscript 4 reverse transcriptase enables detection of SARS-CoV-2 RNA in 25 to 30 minutes. With purified RNA samples, our experiments detected as few as 500 copies of synthetic SARS-CoV-2 RNA.